Hello everyone, welcome to a Titan Web Tutorials. In this video, we will um, go through how to map, map parameters from the Smart View configuration screen. All right, so this is our um, Titan Web project and we've set up a Smart V and we will take a look in this video on the parameters uh, mapping screen. So we'll head over to project settings, user access, Smart V and page number six or pane number six is map parameters. Now, uh, let's head back a little bit. So you can, as you know, you can set up a smart view on any object in Salesforce. And what the parameters are useful for is if you want to pull in additional information from the smart view object in our instance is a contact and we want to store them somewhere to, to be able to use it afterwards. So let's say in the contact object, let me just get rid of these and I'll do add a parameter. And now I can select from our, my predefined parameters, which are defined if I'll close this and I'll go to tools and I'll have custom parameters. So let's say I'll add a parameter and I'll say um, account ID from smart V. All right, so this is one way to use it to create custom parameters. And then after you have that parameter, I'm just gonna explain a little bit more about this. You can use it and you push, you can use it and you get, you can set a condition and say, once the, uh, let's say the account from let's say once the contact name from smart V um, contains equals not equals is not empty you can do anything you like from here and then you can go ahead and configure an action you can say redirect post a message Salesforce action you name it so in many cases you would want to map custom parameters from the smart V object onto your from your smart V all right, so let's head back to our user access and let's say, uh, head back to the parameter screen. I'll remove these guys. I'll keep the contact name from Smart V and now I can select the account ID from Smart V and I'll map it to the contact account ID. And now we can add another parameter and let's say we'll do the last name. And I did not pre-create uh, uh, the last name parameters so I can just say create new and I'll say last name from smart B and I'll select the last name from the contact and I'll generate the smart V login I'll save this and we'll head over to our public site and I'm already logged in here so let me sign out And I've enabled the bug mode and you can see I have zero parameters, all my parameters, the smart V, everything here is empty. So let's just take a look. Smart V, everything here is empty. Okay, let's sign it. So CEO. And I'll get an email with the one-time password. And here it is, and I'll log in, wonderful. Now if I'll take a look at the debug, I can see that my name is Chief and my last name is Donkey and the logged in user account ID is this ID. And now you can use it however you like with conditions, with push, with get, uh, you name it. And this is how it's done.